And we're back to learning to code. This is the lucky numbers exercise, once again in JavaScript on exorcism. To be honest, I think that this is the worst exercise so far. If you don't have previous knowledge about coding and JavaScript in particular, you should just skip ahead or just solve it with my walkthrough here and then come back to it when you have more of an understanding because most of the stuff that's needed here isn't explained in the introduction. I'll try to go back and find it in the curriculum. So if we for example leave the exercise, I will go to the syllabus for type conversion right here. It isn't explained in detail here as well. It just shows you how you can convert numbers, strings, boolean. But you need more than this to solve the exercises. But I don't want to complain too much. Exorcism is for free, so it's good that it exists. If you have coding knowledge or you just want to pass it, let's dive in and I'll show you the solutions. This task one. We have two arrays, we want to sum them up. So basically we want to do this, array one plus array two. And we want to return it. But that's obviously not the simple solution. Instead we need to convert it using the number conversion right here. It's number with a capital N. So be careful when you use that. But that's still not the solution. You also have to use join. And this is not explained so far in the curriculum and it's not in the instructions. And this is why I think that this is a very bad exercise for beginners. But this would be the solution. So it converts it, the arrays, and via join, we'll get what we need. So 2, 4 becomes 24, and 1, 5, 7 becomes 157 in this example, and it's added, and then returned. Let's go to task 2, and here again we need stuff that's not covered. In the syllabus so far, what we need to do is once again convert something, in this case the value parameter that's used for the lucky number function. And we need, let me scroll up right here, the string conversion. So we need to return the new string with a capital S. And use value the parameter right here for our conversion. Make sure that you don't have any typos like me here. And then we want to compare it. So we want to check if we convert it again, but this time it's reversed. Is it true or false? And there's a way to do it. So use the string conversion again. And then you use reverse and you also have to join it. And if you run it, it should pass. And in task 3, we finally have something that was already covered so far in the previous exercises. This is actually somewhat solvable for total beginners. We need an if statement. Because we basically have these three cases, which are given in the example, and we can reduce them to two options. So we need if and else. So let us go over this. So we need our if statement, the condition, the curly brackets. And inside of the curly brackets, we already know what we want to return. We want to return this required field right here. So let me just copy paste it before I make any typos. Let me search for the sentence right here. It is. It gives us the condition that we need for our if statement. So if 
no input is provided, so just write input and use an exclamation mark on top. And we need our else, curly brackets, and we want to return something else. If an input is given, but at first we'll need to convert our input to a number. If it's a number, we'll get what we need. But if it isn't, we need to add, there must be a number besides zero text right here. And you can write it like this. So this is the code line that gives you the right results in all cases. Let us run it. And if I haven't made any mistakes here, we should be good. And we are. So once again, don't worry if you haven't gotten around all of this stuff. It wasn't explained so far in exorcism, so it's not a good exercise for beginners. Leave it aside and come back to it when you've got more knowledge and then you're going to understand all of these code lines. I hope this video was still helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.